Hello, we are gonna do a bit of maths, okay, in woodwork, um, just something simple. It's so simple that it goes past people's heads. Even professional woodwork people using the hand saw, even if they're professional, if they don't know this mystery and they do it wrongly, they can be out. Even from little as one meal to five mil okay if you are out on a straight line on a straight line one mil here on the other side it sticks like this could be out as much as one mil to four five mils depends even for professionals now here's the problem of what most people have especially among beginners and even a few professionals that don't know this mystery have this problem when they're cutting with the handsaw if this is the line, I'll draw it thick here so you can see it on the camera. Your line should be no um, thicker than this one here, this black line here, a pencil mark. This is in pen, but it should be a pencil. Okay, I might get to detail why. Now what happens is some people in a thin line, although I show you in a big diagram so you can see it, is they start cutting the line here, okay, the line, okay? Now what happens, Okay, what happens is they might start on one side of the line, in other words, they might start on this side of the line, here on a thin one, and end up on the other side, even professionals, see, on the other side, that side. They start on this side and end up on that side of the line, even slightly. On a thin line, it's not much difference, and it could disappear the line altogether if you're very good in, in sawing and very skilled. And it's not your skill that's cut it crooked in this case, it is because you don't know this mystery. That there's a slight difference here. Uh, for professional cutters that don't know this mystery, there'll be only 1.1 1 .1 or 1 mil difference. And the line will disappear and they'll wonder why in the world is it crooked when, you know, when they use a, a square, when the, the, the line has disappeared. Well, it's because when the line is drawn here, when the line is drawn here and there, and you square that off, okay, and, and, and cut it and, and the mistake that I said happens here on the other side is a far more distance see how it's more distance and on fatter wood it's even more distance and it, be, it can become a, a fair bit out not just one mil but it can become four or five okay so as then when you're making for example anything for example a table it could be one as little as one mil or five mils out from one cut the next cut could be as in, for, as in the legs for the legs could be another one, two, three mils out. The next one could be one, two, three, four mils. One, two, three, four, four mils. You get anywhere between five to 20 mils out just on the legs. Then you've got other woods attached here and here and here. And all of a sudden, you've got something like crooked ass. So, this is how you correct the problem. So, when you're so soaring, you never start from one end and finish on the opposite end. One end on the other opposite. End. When you're cutting with a hand saw, you start from one end. Of the line so on this side and finish on the other end so there'll be a little thin line left on your on your work it is uh, squared okay so it's got to be exactly it takes a bit of skill to do it exactly on that line here not crooked so is on this side of the board because it has to be squared here okay so you'll get something like um i'll do it by hand because i've got a square here okay you get something like here Okay, where is it? Where, where, where is it? I can't. Okay, so here, so here, it will have to also be squared here. See, over there, it will have to be squared here and also there. And then, if it's squared here and there, it will be squared also here in the back. So a little bit out, it's going to be. It can become a fair bit out on the other distance so that is how you correct the problem i repeat again you always saw from one side of the line to the other side that is from the same side okay or the other side from that side to that side okay you can do it that center but that's not guaranteed because you can go a little bit out okay never go crossways crossways on, on a little line like this that you will be joined like i said it could be a slight difference if you go crooked
but on the other side of the, of the wood, and, and you could have a, a big fat piece of wood here, and, and that's a lot of distance out. Okay, if you know, if, if it's a little bit out this way, if you keep on following that line, see, if this is the wood, okay, if this is if this is um, the cut, okay, and um, on a thin piece of wood, it'll be only this much out, but on a fatter wood, it'll be even more. See? Okay, so that's how it's done. Now that you've got this knowledge, even beginners can do this with a lot of practice. You're halfway there with the knowledge. Okay, you only need to practice it. And sure, it's going to take a long time if you're a beginner. But it's nowhere near the skill that, that, that you need to require and to learn. If you didn't have this knowledge, you'll take three, four, five, ten times longer. To, 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 and only when you understand this knowledge, you'll be able to get it right. For professionals, they probably know this. But a few that don't, mate, you could probably get it right now from go one, two, three. Since you're already skilled in sawing, all you've got to do is practice it a little bit and do what I say, and you'll be pinpoint accurately in your hand saw cutting, as long as you're professional in cutting and skill. Thank you very much for watching. God be with you all, and take care. Bless you all. Uh, so, um, here in the previous clip, I explained to you exactly how it's done in the knowledge side of it. I've also got uh, an, an, the next clip that's uh, show you the practical side of it in how to actually cut it where you see me do that and it becomes pinpoint accurate square. The problem is that the volume didn't come out, although this is why I read the first clip here before this one to explain what's going on on written work. So understand the written work and look at the view. You, you can learn a lot by the scene and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. If you follow the first clip, you will know exactly what I'm talking about, even though in the next clip the volume did not come out. Just view it and see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. In, the, in the, the next clip, there's also a way of um, squaring everything oh. off, okay? If, for example, you're on an angle, which you will see what I'm, you see it there. Thank you very much for listening. God be with you all and bless you.